Hi, I'm Terry Johnson, one of the co-creators of the Quirkles and the new Fuddlebrook series. And I'm here with you in this cold winter day to show you how to make crystals. It seems like a good time of year to be talking about snowflakes and crystals. With me, I have one of my scientists, and what's your name? Harrison. And what grade are you in, Harrison? Fourth grade. Fourth grade. Are you ready to make some crystals? Yep. Good deal. Well, we're first going to start with very, very hot water, boiling water that's in my pot here. And Harrison, I'm just going to pour some in your cup. And we know with hot water, we have to be very careful, right? Mm -hmm. But it does need to be very, very hot so our borax will crystallize. Now, just to make it colorful and fun, Harrison, would you like to just drop a couple uh, drops of food coloring in there and we can make colored crystals? Mm -hmm. Now, if you choose not to do this and you don't want to do the food coloring, that's perfectly fine too. And you can take one of your stirring sticks and just stir that. Wait, look how quickly it turns red. Now, in my Tupperware, I have borax. Borax is a laundry booster that can be found in any, almost any laundry area. I would like for you to put about six tablespoons of borax in, my, in your water. Now be real careful with your water because it's very warm. You don't have to be exact but approximately six tablespoons. We do want the borax to saturate into the water. Now, can you take your stirring stick and kind of stir that? Now, the reason that borax and hot water make such good crystals is borax is, is already in crystal form, but it saturates in the hot water. And as it turns back to the original form, that's when you get your crystallization. All right, good deal. Now, Harrison, I'm gonna give you three pipe cleaners that we've just snipped. Would you just take those and you wanna just kinda of turn those, twist them, and you can kinda of make them into a snowflake. Now, we've made one that is just on the pipe cleaner. This is the Chanel stick, or pipe cleaner is what we used to call them. And I've just made mine until it looks like a snowflake. This experiment is in our new Fuddlebrook series the hidden treasure book. Now you would want that to hang down into our solution. Fortunately, that is not gonna crystallize just in front of our eyes. It's gonna take a few hours, but this time tomorrow evening when we pull that out, you're gonna see something very similar to this. This is one that I made a couple of nights ago, and look how pretty that is. It, it forms a crystal. Fill that, Harrison. Oh, it's isn't it hard? And it's pretty, isn't it? It even shines, doesn't it? Thanks, Harrison, for joining me to make snow crystals. It's a great time of year to do that, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, check out more of our Quirkles experiments on Quirkles.com or our new Fettlebrook series, Fettlebrook.com. Happy winter. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.